Ladies and gentlemen, Demas and Caballeros, I never like to portray my life as this perfect, flawless lifestyle where I wake up early, make my morning cup of coffee, and immediately go to the gym. Because the truth is, my morning routine looks more like this. I believe in living a simple life, but sometimes it just don't work out for me. I mean, last month, I made one simple mistake that prevented me from living a simple life. I was being a human. I was trying my hardest to live a simple and slow life, but I just got caught up in being a human, and I was stunted by something I call the learning curve of life. Now, the learning curve of life is something I am sure you are far too familiar with, where what happens is you learn something, you implement it in your life, it improves your life, and then you forget the lesson. And so you have to do it over again. Relearn it, implement it, improve your life, and then forget about it. It just keeps happening, ladies and gentlemen. I just can't seem to get it together, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, I just crack myself up. But when it comes to living a simple life, I find myself in this learning curve where I just keep repeatedly learning the same lessons and making the same mistakes over and over and over. And in this video, I want to share five of my common mistakes that I just keep relearning and the lessons from those mistakes. And I hope by sharing my mistakes, it will bring out our common humanity and help you on on your journey to live a simple life. So let's begin. <sighs> Mistake one, expecting life to slow down on its own. Now on my quest to live a more simple, slow life, the first mistake that I just keep making is that I have this idea that if I work hard, focus on improving myself and be productive, in the future, things will get easier, things will slow down. If I work hard today, my future will be easier and more simple and more slow. For example, oftentimes when I'm making videos, I get in this habit of working extremely hard, trying to get ahead so that I can relax more in the future. But what actually happens is I end up working myself so hard that I get so stressed out and so overwhelmed that I end up just wasting so much time. As I get older, which might sound silly to some people because I'm still pretty young, but one thing that I have been learning is that life never stops. There will never be a moment in life where the stars align where everything works out, you can slow down, enjoy life, and just relax. Because life is this constant battle where things are always changing and things are always coming up. So my first lesson from this mistake is this. You have to make the time to slow down despite how hectic your life is. You can't expect that there will just be this moment in life where things become easy and you can just slow down and enjoy life because if you think that moment exists, you will never slow down. You have to make the time, no matter how hectic your life is, you have to make the time to slow down and enjoy life. And even if you have a million tasks, you need to disconnect yourself and do things like take a break during your working day and go for a quick walk or drop everything to drink a cup of coffee, or take a day away from technology on the weekend and go to nature. If you don't make time in your busy schedule to just slow down and take a moment to rest, then you will never have these moments because life is always gonna be hectic. It doesn't matter how organized you are, how productive you are, life is always gonna be chaotic. So you have to make these intentional times in your day and in your life to stop and slow down because if you don't, you will never get them. Mistake two rushing through very important things. Now, the second mistake that I just keep making is that sometimes I just get so caught up in life that I end up rushing through very important tasks. For example, I just hate cooking because there's so much you have to do. You have to prepare the food, then cook the food, then eat the food, and then once all that is done, there's a sink full of dishes. 
and you have to do it three times a day, every day for as long as you're alive. I don't know who thought of that idea, but that is a lot of work and it turns into this dreadful chore. And oftentimes I can get just so caught up in life that I end up just seeking what is easy and getting something that isn't as nutritious and doesn't make me as full. In my experience, I think that the most dreadful tasks in life are the most important ones because they're the foundation for everything else. And my lesson from this mistake is that you have to take the time to properly complete these tasks, no matter how dreadful they are. Just like how you need to make the time in your busy schedule to slow down, you also need to make the time in your busy schedule to properly complete these dreadful tasks because although they're dreadful, they set the foundation for everything else. For example, if you prepare healthy foods, then you'll have more energy and you can focus more. If your house is clean, then your life feels more in order. And if you do proper exercises, you have more energy. If you don't take the moment to properly complete these tasks, then your life will just always be chaotic because you don't have the foundation set for everything else and your life will just always feel unstable and out of order. But if you take the time to properly complete these tasks and make the time to do them right, then overall you'll just feel better and your life will be less chaotic. Mistake three, obsessing over things I can't control. A few videos ago, I spoke about how I've been a little bit more depressed than normal because how the weather's been going the last couple of months where we've had a warm day, then a cold day, and then a smoky day. Thanks, Canada. Canadians, you are the perfect people. We Americans are the ones that start the fires, literally and figuratively. But the more I think about why I've been feeling this way, the more I realize that it has nothing to do with the weather, but it's how I'm approaching viewing the weather because I'm acting like me, El Agustin Miyamoto, has control over the weather, that I can wave my magic wand and control the clouds. And I obsess over it, I act as if I have control over it, and the more I think this way, the more depressed I become. But what I've learned in life is that we have no to little control over things in life. So my lesson from this mistake is this. You can't control much in this world, but you can control how you respond. All you really have control over in life is yourself and how you choose to respond to different life situations. And if you choose to live a life where you just obsess about all these things that you can't control, you'll probably be more depressed and angry at life. But if you choose to live a life and not obsess over all these things you can't control and just focus on responding in a positive way, you'll probably be happier and you'll probably be more content with what's going on in the world. And if you live life where you accept the weather for what it is and make the most out of it and not consume too much news and focus on your space in the world and not scream in your car in traffic and just listen to music, you'll probably be overall happier. I think that the more you act, like you have control over things, the more frustrated and depressed you become because the truth is, we have very little control over what goes on in this world. All we have is control over how we respond to it. And if we choose to respond in a positive way and not obsess over the things that we can't control, I think that ultimately we live a richer life. Mistake four, never leaving my own head. As you might know, I make two videos a week, ladies and gentlemen, Monday and Friday, and say what you want about me, but I am extremely consistent. I am amazed that I can do this because this ain't easy, ladies and gentlemen. You probably just watch the video maybe 1x, 2x speed because I talk really slow from the south, you see, and then you move on to the next video. But there is so much effort that goes into making these videos. You have to constantly be thinking of ideas, then writing and then rewriting and spending hours editing it all. And then you're crossing your fingers, hoping that the algorithm is on your side. You have all these people critiquing you. The bigger you get, the more hate and trolls you get. And after a while, you just think so much and you just get trapped in your own head. 
And I am in no way complaining. I mean, this is what I signed up for. You gotta take the good with the bad. But what I have learned on this journey is that no matter how mentally strong you are and how mentally capable you are, you cannot be in your head at all times because the more you're in your head, the more complex your thoughts be and the more complex your thoughts are, the darker they become. Your mind can lead you to some incredibly dark places. And what I have learned from this mistake is this. You can't be in your head all the time, but you need to take moments to disconnect yourself from your thoughts. I used to think that you could think your way out of problems, that if you analyze things in your mind, that it would make it better, but that doesn't work. All it does is lead you to darker and darker places. You have to take moments to get out of your mind and do things like physical activity at the gym or focusing on accomplishing physical tasks or meditating. And these activities, normally physical activities, allow you to get out of your own mind and focus on something else or focus on nothing. And you have to do these things to get out of your own mind because if you're always in your mind, your mind will continue to compound and lead you to some very dark places. Trust me, I know all about this, getting all this feedback from people. But you have to take these moments to get out of your mind. And when you focus on something else, whether that's a physical activity or you focus on nothing at all, it will allow you to have a clearer mind and live a more simple life. Mistake five, taking myself too seriously. As I said in the beginning of this video, I find myself in life in this constant circle where I learn some lesson. I implement the lesson in my life. It improves my life, but then a month later I forget all about it. And as much as I try to live a simple life, I keep forgetting all these lessons. And it frustrates me like crazy because I keep forgetting things and relearning the same lessons over and over and over again as if I'm doing something wrong. And that little person on my shoulder says, you did it again, Al Augustine. And sometimes I just take myself so seriously and just become so disappointed in myself because I'm constantly forgetting and relearning the same things over and over and over. But what I have learned in life is that I am never gonna get it. I'm gonna continue making these same mistakes my entire life. And so my final lesson is this. Don't take yourself too seriously because you never quite get it. We all make mistakes and we're never gonna stop making mistakes because we're humans and human beings are imperfect beings. And no matter how hard you try, your house will be a mess 50% of the time. You're going to make bad financial decisions every now and then. And sometimes you're gonna forget to check your oil, your car engine's gonna die and you're gonna have to pay $7,000 for a new engine. Ooh, that last one, ladies and gentlemen, is still hurting $7,000 for a new engine. Do not buy a Kia, whatever you do, ladies and gentlemen. But also, don't be too hard on yourself when that stuff happens because all these things are just part of the human experience and what it means to be a human. And for me personally, I didn't fail at living a simple life. I just started to take myself a little bit too seriously. And when you take yourself a little bit too seriously, it's just, it's not a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, going forward, I'm gonna take all these lessons that I have learned that I'm teaching you in this video. I'm gonna implement them in my life. They're gonna improve my life. And then in a few months, I'm gonna forget all about them and maybe make a video and talk about that because that's life and that's what it means to be human. And with that, muchas gracias. Que tenga un buen día. Video 117. Nos vemos, chico.